So, you've heard about this Adventurers League thing. Maybe you saw a sign at a store or a convention. Or maybe you saw it mentioned on somebody's social media. Maybe a friend invited you to play. I want to tell you about why you should play Adventurers League, whether you're a new or experienced player. This video isn't going to talk about running AL games as a dungeon master, though. That will come in another video later. Spoiler, that one's way more complicated. Anyway, players. So, what is this Adventurers League thing, anyway? It's called Organized Play. There's a common set of rules about the game. I don't mean the game rules exactly, but sort of meta rules about how experience and treasure get divided up, what kinds of characters make sense in the shared world, etc. There can be a lot to it, but relax. Just like Dungeons and Dragons itself, you really don't need to know that much just to get started. There's a free player pack, and between that and the free basic rules and pre-generated characters, you literally don't have to spend a dime to get started. Since every character starts at level 1, you won't be behind everybody else either. There are games for every level of character. If you're already experienced with D&D though, it's probably worth reading the AO Player Guide first. There might be a few things that might surprise you a little bit. However, everybody should read the Code of Conduct. It's really short, just one page, and shouldn't surprise anybody. Some of it is just about basic table etiquette, but it's also about the kind of play environment that we all want to encourage. Everybody gets to have fun, and I do mean everybody. AL does not allow racism, sexism, homophobia, any other kind of bigotry. And note that everybody who sees bad behavior is responsible for speaking up and saying, we don't do that here. I personally have played with folks from all over the world, all kinds of orientations, all genders, all ages, and they make the experience richer. I've highlighted a few core bits here on screen, but you should go read the whole code yourself. You could find the links to this in the description, naturally, it's part of the player's guide. So, maybe you don't have a regular group. Maybe you're looking to meet people to add to your group. Maybe you are not in a position to play in a regular group. AL is great for all of these things because it lets people drop in and out on sort of an ad hoc basis from session to session. Somebody organizes a game, or maybe a bunch of games, like at a convention. And you play with folks for a few hours, and then you move on. Maybe you'll play with some of them again, maybe not. But either way, there's literally no implied commitment. AL itself is a casual, shared campaign. Sure, the stakes for the Forgotten Realms itself might be high sometimes, but really, this is about coming together with friends, new and old, for a few hours and rolling some dice. Don't worry too much about an ongoing campaign, or whether you're playing optimally. Low-level games, what we call Tier 1, are great places to try a new character concept. And, like I said, no commitment, either to a character or a group. And, as a bonus, for low-level characters, you can rebuild them if it turns out you don't like a class or whatever. But if you do like your character, great. You can keep them and play them in other games. You can grow and progress your character from a level 1 nobody to a level 20 mythic hero. Unlike home games, when you finish a campaign, you can then go play with the same character someplace else. Maybe you didn't click with the group, maybe the group fell apart, or maybe you just want to play in different locations or storylines. Fine. Your character is yours, not tied to any particular dungeon master or group. Also, there's a metagame. I don't mean that in the roleplay sense, where your character might act on knowledge they wouldn't have because you as a player do know about it. What I mean is all the stuff that goes on around the game. Faction ranks, magic item trading, etc. There's a whole AL sub-sub-sub-niche culture out there, and it might be a thing you like. Or not, you don't have to worry about all that stuff if you don't want to get involved in it. But some folks like figuring out all the ways they could participate in this broader way of looking at D&D. You probably don't want to play Adventurers League only, though, or at least not forever. Because it's organized play in a shared campaign, 
the extra rules in place put some restrictions on what you can do. The rules are there just to make sure everybody can have fun and keep some level of balance. But home games with friends are a different kind of fun and lets you stretch your gaming muscles in different ways. And like I said before, AL might even be a great way to meet some of those friends. If all this sounds like fun to you, and I hope I've convinced you at least to give it a try, there are two things you should do. First, grab the Adventurers League Players Pack linked on their website and give it a quick read. That includes the Code of Conduct, by the way. That'll also have the rest of the player's guide, the log sheet so you can track your experience, gold, magic items, all that, and a few other things. Then, either create a character or grab one of the pre-generated ones from the D&D website. Those are especially easy if you're new to Dungeons & Dragons, by the way. If you have a game store nearby, check to see if they have a D&D Adventurers League game night. If you're not sure or maybe don't know where a game store might be, check the store locator site from Wizards of the Coast. There's a link in the description. You can find games everywhere. Meetup.com, Facebook. Some of these games even run online using tools like Discord, Google Hangouts, Skype, or websites like Roll20. If you have any questions, you could leave a comment below and I'll do my level best to answer. But your best bet is to ask the Adventurers League folks themselves on Twitter or Facebook if you need anything official. Thanks to Wizards of the Coast for the amazing art and game. See you soon.